better in a club down in Old Soho Where you drink champagne and it tastes just like cherry cola See you over cola She walked up to me and she asked me to dance I asked her her name and in a dark brown voice she said no Lola by the Kings, written by Ray Davis, a song that on the surface seems very simple. You might wonder why you do a tutorial on this song. Well, although it's basically all simple chords, there are a few extra embellishments and details in there that makes the song. So let's start with the intro, and this song is one of the best intros a song could ever wish for. The very strange guitar he is playing, it's actually a resonator guitar, has a certain distinct sound. And he's not playing a regular C to start with, he's playing what I call the warm C, with the ring finger on the bottom string. The actual name is a C G, but I call it the warm C because it sounds a bit more warm. Then he does something very peculiar, he plays a D chord, but look what kind of D chord he's playing here. He's using a bar with the index finger, which I certainly do not recommend. I'm gonna play that D chord normal, regularly. And always remember, if you can slide a finger to the next chord, you wanna do so. And here, to the E chord, you can. So slide with the index finger. So, the chords are... Then simply add a bit of strumming. So the chords in the verse are thankfully very easy. It's all E, A, and D chord. Those are the embellishments that makes the song. We're gonna do that in a minute. First, he plays two strumming patterns in the verse. There's a long one and a short one. The long one is... Fairly basic. And the short one is... If you can play those two patterns, then you should be able to play the verse in the most simple form. And so on. But the fun, of course, begins when you can play those. Those embellishments. Now let's see what he's doing here. Start very simple. Then add a bit of strumming. And then finally, if you're able to do that, just simply add the E strumming pattern with the embellishment. The first bridge is very simple, but we do have our first bar chord here. We start on the B7. And always when I play the B7, I mute the bottom string with my middle finger. And even also a bit of the thumb. Then we get to the F sharp. And here, it's very important to have the correct order in which you press down the fingers. You start not with the index finger. Don't do that. Start with the ring finger. Pinky, middle finger. And lastly, the index finger. Then finally, the A chord. 
And the A7. Those are all the chords of the first bridge. Then, at the strumming pattern, it's the long pattern. comes the most difficult part of the entire song. This one is a bit tricky. It's actually quite annoying. The whole song is very much doable, but then he throws in... <laughs> That's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Let's first look at the chords. We have the A chord. But since we have to go to a bar chord, you might actually want to play this A chord already with the index finger. So the next bar is easier to slide to the C sharp minor, A, C sharp minor. Yeah. Normally you want the index finger to be last, but if you can actually slide, you do that. Remember, always slide if you can. And then when I go to the last chord, the B chord, I don't let go of my fingers. I simply hold everything on the fretboard because it's already in the correct shape, sort of. So I slide to the B as much as I can. So it's... Okay, those are the chords. Then the strumming pattern. One thing that's very critical is you don't want to hold on to the chord until the last moment and go to the next one. This would be wrong. That's way too difficult. So the last strum before I go to the next chord I'm already sliding towards the next chord. And that's the only way to have a chance to be able to play it fast. And there you go, those are all the main parts of the entire song. 90% very much doable with the occasional embellishment, but there's this uh, <laughs> challenging thing there, the second bridge in between. Well, as they say, practice makes perfect, and let's practice the main parts right now. You can find the tabs for the chord sheet at my patron site. Grab your guitar, here we go.